People from the northern states have been moving to North Carolina for quite a while. In this video, we're going to tell you what to expect if you're planning a move to North Carolina from New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, Massachusetts, or any of the other northern states. Hello everyone, this is Chris Morton, real estate broker with the Morton Bradbury Real Estate Group. And without further ado, let's get at it. So the first thing you need to know if you're planning a move to North Carolina is that a lot of the locals are not really happy with all of the people that are coming here from up north and really from all over the world. You see, North Carolina has a definitive culture, a southern culture that the locals are seeing slowly die out, that it's getting diluted by so many people moving in from all over everywhere. And so there's a little bit of a resentment for that. And so just be aware of that as you come here. People generally are very very welcoming locals but they do have sort of in the back of their mind that they're seeing their old way of living sort of dying out so along those same lines we'll give you a little tip here so North Carolinians are really really proud of the fact that we've gone from being a generally poor backwater state to being one of the most economically successful and vibrant states in the Union because of that when people move here especially from up north and talk about how awesome things were in New York City and Boston and and Philly and all of that and brag about how great things were up there, you're going to get met with two types of people from that are locals. Either they're not going to say anything at all to you but resent you or they may say that they really think you maybe should move back where you come from. So just know that in general locals here are very very nice welcoming people but they do resent putting their state down where we're from. Again we've come a long long way and we're really really proud of it. So with that out of the way, why are so many people from up north flocking to North Carolina? Well, first off, it's warmer in North Carolina. People that are tired of the snow and the ice gravitate this way. We are definitely one of the southern states that has a lot of nice warm weather, but unlike places like Georgia and Florida where they just have two seasons, hot and very, very hot, North Carolina has all four seasons, so it's definitely a place for people who like all four seasons, but not too much of one season or the other. Another reason people love North Carolina, taxes are lower. State income tax is at a flat 4.75%. State sales tax is anywhere between four and, a, and three quarter cents all the way to seven cents, depending on which county you're in. And property taxes are much lower than you're gonna find up north. For example, in the Raleigh area, you're looking at about a dollar per thousand valuation on your taxes versus say like a million dollars per thousand on your valuation on your taxes that you're going to find up in the northern states. Another thing people love about moving to the North Carolina area is you have easy access to the mountains, to the beach, and everything in between no matter where you live in the state. Really quick drive and incidentally we have pretty decent roads in North Carolina so it's pretty quick drive from anywhere in the state to anywhere else in the state. Another great draw is the lower cost of living. Insurance is cheaper, housing in general is cheaper, taxes are cheaper, and the cost of food and beverage is generally cheaper in North Carolina than most of the northern states. North Carolina also has great golfing, so if you're a golf lover, you're gonna love the fact that North Carolina has over 600 golf courses, and that includes the 19 courses in the golf mecca of the universe, Pinehurst, North Carolina. As well, North Carolina has some really great sports teams to root for. You have UNC Chapel Hill, Duke, NC State, ECU for both football and basketball among many, many other schools in the state. As well, you have Carolina Panthers NFL Pro football team and Carolina Hurricanes NHL pro hockey team, among many, many others. Also, Durham Bulls minor league baseball team is also in the state of North Carolina. So plenty of opportunity for you to find a sport that you love and a team that you love and give you the opportunity to root for them. Another thing people really love about North Carolina, our great educational system, especially on the college level. So what can you expect if you're buying a home in North Carolina from up north? Let's start with how do home prices compare? So here's a few examples of median home prices up north versus North Carolina. In Boston, you're looking at $799,000 for median home price. In Massachusetts as a whole, you're looking at $580,000. In New York City, 
$829,000 and in New York State as a whole, $437,000. $668,000 is the median home price for a home in Washington, D.C. In New Jersey as a whole, about $468,000. Whereas in North Carolina, the median home price is coming in at $323,000 for the state. And in the Charlotte metro area in particular, you're looking at about $450,000. Whereas in the Raleigh Triangle area, your median home price is coming in at about $499,000. So generally you're gonna get a much larger home in North Carolina than you are used to finding up in the Northern states. In North Carolina, the median home size is coming in at about 2,152 square feet, which means North Carolina has the 14th largest median home size in the United States. Compare that to New York State, which ranks 49th, Maine, which ranks 47th, New Jersey, which ranks 43rd, and Massachusetts, which ranks 42nd. And by the way, Ohio is coming in at number 41, Rhode Island is coming in at 31, and New Hampshire, which is coming in 33rd for median home size. One interesting fact is that that Maryland, Connecticut, and Delaware all came in with larger median home sizes than North Carolina, but all three have a higher cost per square foot than North Carolina does. So if you're moving from up north to North Carolina, what things are you gonna miss? Well, unfortunately, you're gonna miss the diversity of restaurants by and large in the state. So North Carolina, especially our rural areas, do, do not have all the different kind of restaurants you're gonna find up in the Northern states. So if you have this amazing cuisine that you're in love with, you probably aren't gonna find it in all of the different counties of the state unless your favorite cuisine is say McDonald's or Burger King. Typically you're gonna to have to go to some of the larger cities to, to get like Thai food, Indian food, Korean, yada, 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 on down the list. Another thing you might miss from up north is the hustle and bustle. North Carolina is still pretty much a rural state. That means if you really like the go, go, go and densely populated areas, you're probably going to be a little disappointed if you move to one of the smaller towns, probably going to want to move to one of the bigger cities. And even then you're not going to get that 24 hour a day, eight day a week, go, go, go atmosphere that you're going to find in say New York City or Austin or Washington, D.C. So just be prepared. You're going to have to make that adjustment if you move down to North Carolina. So we've talked about the things that you will miss when you move to North Carolina. So what things will you not miss? Well, you're not going to miss the toll roads. There are a few toll roads in North Carolina, but it's not like everywhere. It's mostly in the major metropolitan areas like around Raleigh. So you don't really have to worry about that. Another thing you're not gonna miss, the horrible traffic. By and large, again, North Carolina is a rural state, so you're not gonna have that bumper to bumper traffic jams 24 seven in the state of North Carolina. Even in the densely populated areas like Raleigh, you're only gonna have traffic jams from say 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. and from 4 p.m. until 6 or 7 p.m. So it's not like all day, all night kind of thing. Just something you have to get used to. But again, you're going to not miss all those traffic jams from up north. As well, you're not going to miss the smog when you move down to North Carolina. NC is pretty much a clean state. There are some pockets of smog, but by and large, it's not like you're going to see in, say, New York City. You're also not gonna miss the dirty snow. Yes, we get snow occasionally here, but it doesn't pile up in big, giant, dirty, smoggy piles, so yay to that. As well, you're not gonna miss the rude people. We talked about it earlier. North Carolinians, in general, are, are fairly nice, welcoming people. I think it's gonna be a breath of fresh air if you're used to, like, the fight and the hustle and bustle that you have to experience up in those densely populated northern states. So what will surprise you about moving from uh, the northern states to North Carolina? Well, one thing is traffic may be worse than you expect. Again, we do have traffic jams here. They are isolated to certain areas and in certain times of the day, but you still are going to experience some traffic, especially on like the interstates on holiday weekends. That's something you need to be prepared for. Another thing you're going to be surprised about moving to North Carolina, we have due diligence fees when it comes to buying a house. That's something we talk about a lot on videos and that's something you can talk to your real estate agent about as you're planning a move down to know how to budget for it. But that's just another wrinkle and something that might surprise you that you need to be prepared for. Another thing, we have few basements here in North Carolina. Because the topography of the land is relatively flat, you're not going to see as many basements as you see up in the northern states. Now granted, as you get into the hilly areas like 
parts of the Piedmont and certainly the mountains, you are going to see more basements than you are in, say, Wilmington or Atlantic Beach, North Carolina on the coast. But just know that in general, basements are few and far between in our state. Another thing that might surprise you about North Carolina, North Carolina is a melting pot. People are coming here from all over the country, really all over the world. So be prepared that the people you meet may not be locals from here. They may be from, again, all over the world. And that really adds to the diversity and culture that we have here in the state. Definitely a welcome surprise that you're going to experience moving here. Another thing that might surprise you that you're really going to love is Southern cooking. We still are experts at making North Carolina barbecue, fried chicken, and all of the delicious and very, very low calorie foods that you would expect that we have here in North Carolina. That's definitely something we recommend you try. We think you're going to love it. Another thing that may surprise you and really you need to be prepared for is we've talked about already. People are really nice here. In general, locals are very welcoming. We hope that as people come into the area that they adapt to that and adopt that philosophy and become welcoming and friendly and helpful and not cut people off while traveling and traffic and all of that. So that's something I think is going to surprise you as well. Another thing that's going to really surprise you about North Carolina and moving here is you're not going to miss the snow. Yes, we have a little bit of snow, but you're not going to miss the piles and piles and mountains of snow that you have up in the northern states and the fact that on July 5th, it goes to ice cold, frigid weather. We don't have that here. So if you're considering a move either into or out of North Carolina, my real estate team and I would love to be your agents of choice. You can give us a call on the number below. Click on the link in the description or email us at hello at mortonbradbury.com. We'll be happy to help you out. Check out this video. We think you're really going to like this one as well. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.